Namaste. Welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I am Divine Energy. Welcome to my beautifully lit, prosperous, and abundant YouTube. Okay, we over here getting it. We over here evolving and ascending the soul. All right. I love y'all. Whether you new, old, don't even matter. I love y'all. And thanks for supporting the channel. Um, yeah, if you're new though, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the videos, the content, okay? Because it'll be more fire content coming at you. All right, all of my downloads that I'm getting, I'm going to be sharing these on the channel. And I just, again, I just want to thank everybody, okay, for your support. Okay, to this channel, it means a lot. And I love y'all energy because I've absolutely been on the vibe. All right, period. Now, let's get into this motherfucking download. Yo, listen. So what I'm getting is that um, your name is being brought up in places that you would never fucking believe. Okay? Listen, this shit is for real. Like, places that you always dreamt of being in. Rooms you've always dreamt of being in. And you knew that you were destined for these rooms, these places, these spaces, right? And that's what's happening because now you've changed your energy to where you're evolving. You're no longer on this, uh, uh, what do you call it, like rabbit. You know what I'm saying? Like you're no longer going like on this chase, on this wild goose chase. It's like now you're just inviting spirit in and spirit is guiding you. So you have a different type of viewpoint, a different vantage point that helps you to navigate your life more clearly. Okay, just period. All right. And due to your spiritual um, evolution and your level of willingness, right, it's taking you again into spaces and places that you've always dreamt of or your wildest dreams. Okay. So whatever that is, let's get into the messages here. Okay. Let's find out like why they needed me to come and drop this one. So, yeah. I hope y'all are doing well wherever you are. Okay. Uh, let's get into it though. I just want to see what's our overall energy like. What's surrounding us at this time? I feel like certain energies are surrounding us at this time. Spirit, what is these overall energies that I was channeling? They didn't want me to use a couple of decks, so they got wet and everything, so we're only working with a few, but I'm sure that's exactly what I needed, okay? What is the overall energy surrounding this message and the collective here? Holy Spirit, show me what it is, okay? I could be talking to an Aquarius right now. Okay. Ascending. Didn't I say that? Didn't I literally say that? Okay. Wow. Major groups. See? This is what I'm talking about. Y'all getting discussed in major groups, major places. Like, people that's on boards. People that's in, like, politics, law enforcement. Like, some of you guys, this is the judicial system. Whatever this is. But these are major groups and organizations, okay? And some of these groups do have a lack of ethics. But they're realizing their downfall was them having a lack of ethics, okay? And I feel like your name is being brought up because you bring some sort of balance. Or you bring some sort of newness. I'm hearing integrity. Yeah, you got a future energy prosperity. And rewards and awards yeah okay some of you guys might be like attorneys or something like that to where they're gonna need your help some of you guys might be in the medical system so at some point these people are gonna need your help or you've already helped them these situations are bringing in prosperity and wars into your life I could definitely be talking to my feminine energies out here and you don't have to be Necessarily a female to connect with your feminine energy. Right? But yes, that's what I'm getting. Wow, what else? Talk to me here, Holy Spirit. What's coming out? What is this about? 
Wow, because I feel like you, you, whatever you, you do, your energy speaks of light. It speaks of truth. And it gives people not just those things, but it gives people hope inside, you know, faith. I could be talking to a Libra as well. You're very balanced or you're, you're going to balance the scales, basically, you know, like. I could definitely be talking to somebody who's getting an increase, a raise, a promotion, something like that, that type of energy as well, okay? Because this is what you're attracting. You're attracting abundance, okay? What else? Some of you guys, people are lying on you, and I think that it's creating, it's, creating problems for the people that are lying on you but for you it's actually attracting you to everything that you desire at this time five 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 because the thing is is your level of integrity is what blocks all of any sort of negativity that tries to come right tell me more here holy spirit synergy Giving and receiving. Y'all don't be afraid to receive, okay? Because everything is coming together, okay? Some of you guys are going to be getting some uh, opportunities that you've never fucking, like, expected to come your way. But they are because you're attracting them now. Also, <clears throat> you're in this, like, space where you're connecting with, like, the heavenly realm. And you're having a lot of communication with them. And this is bringing you inner and outer freedom. You've activated your Macurva. Your Macurva, that's why people feel like your energy is something that can help them. Even if it's just having that relationship with you. Even if it's a literal situation that you're going to help somebody with. Whatever it is, they know what your energy represents. Okay. Wow. Uh, Yeah, trust the process, inspiration, divine guidance, hold the space, victory. Ooh, ooh, Holy Spirit, show me what's here on the board. What is it about these um, overall energies here that I need to see? Journey and focus, bullseye. Yeah, you hit something definitely right on the head. So, like, you could have gave a message or you could have said something or done something and it was right what they needed at that time. OK, because you have a certain type of focus, you know, quality about you when you do things right. And somebody feels like I want that on my team. I, I want to be a part of that or, you know what I'm saying? Period. So you on the right track. Bullseye. OK, on this journey. Lib uh, Labyrinth. Oh, yeah. I don't mind my messy here action okay some of y'all it's about taking action and not being afraid to do that okay because there's a lot of abundance when you take action and do something there's a lot of people also again these people are watching you it's like i'm getting somebody watching you because it's like they're learning something through watching you just trust your process you're very inspirational and positive you help people grow we got an opportunity again just cut the deck on that yeah. Also, I'm getting to people might be coming around that like want to just distract you from your path. OK. I feel like that because what they see in the mirror when they look at you, it's like, damn, you're a reflection of what I could be. If I attune my energy or something, you know, for real. Some of these people, and I also get to, like, people was counting you out. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, maybe it's the way you talk. Maybe it's your accent. I don't know. But it was something like people was counting you out. Or maybe it's the life you live, the things you've gone through, whatever it is, right? Somebody will try to count you out. Somebody tried to bring chaos in your world, try to disrupt or distract you from this ascending process. And it's not just been a one person. It could have been like multiple things is what I'm getting. And I feel like now you, you've activated your Macurva and reached this higher level of communication with the heavenly realm. Okay. So it's like it, it just hit different. You very balanced in your energy. Yeah, joy. Smiley face. So it's like people feel like you bring them that. 
you know, that joy, that hope, you know, people need that shit in life. The world needs love. Oh, God. Oh, God. Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see. See, this, this damn, this deck got wet, too. What is this card that don't want to go down? Crown chakra. See what I'm saying? It's like your mind or something is being discussed. It's like whatever you bring. What is this? Trust. They just said that. Trust the process. Two different cards. So just trust where you at because this could feel different. This could feel like, holy shit, I ain't never been here before. Like I've traveled. I've done shit spiritually. But wow. You know what I'm saying? It's like a level of um, not just ascending your soul, but your education and your knowledge, your awareness, your wisdom that you achieve. And it's like going to higher heights. You know what I'm saying? Like crown chakra upgrade shit. Okay. Some of y'all is waiting on certain results from a certain action that you took. And that's coming through as well. Okay. So if you was waiting on some sort of result or something to happen here, that's happening. Whole point of you came to this message. Okay. You taking some sort of action that you're waiting on the results now. And it's getting ready to come around in your favor. I feel like because you're very balanced, this could be definitely speaking to somebody too who's going through a a a uh, a situation with the law too. Like if you was trying to overcome a situation when it came to the courts or something like that, like you're gonna be the, the victor. If you were losing before, you're gonna win now. Success and growth, I promise you. Like, okay, so just trust right now. What else? Get one more. Uh, control and release. So release any type of uh, desire to control the situation, the outcome, because it's going to go the way that you've seen it coming out, going or whatever. It's going to go the way that you need it to go. Just trust this right now. This ascension activation process, okay? And what spirit got you going through, okay? <clears throat> because it's all for a divine purpose. Damn. I'm talking about y'all. These decks got wet and heck. Forgive me because they gonna do what they gonna do today. I thought this was dry, but maybe not. <clears throat> okay. Tell me more your Holy Spirit. I hate to keep telling y'all that, but it's just like these decks is not shuffling right today because they wet. <laughs> okay. Tell me what's going on in the relationships. Missed opportunity. Somebody, I'm trying to tell you. Somebody thought like, oh, I, they was going to talk about you or mess up an opportunity. And then you're going to get the fucking last laugh. So I don't know who these energies are for you. Because they're going to get a fucking a rude awakening or some sort of surprise coming to them. Okay? And they're going to later feel like, damn, I should have made a commitment or brought that person in because I knew that person first or some type of shit. Like, they're going to be broken about this shit. Like, a whole fucking meltdown. All you see is tears on these cards because it's like somebody going to feel like that because I feel like some of these energies like know you from could be certain people like that you had some sort of tie with some sort of dealing with and they're going to be pissed off because they let you go and the energy that you possess is very powerful and they realizing it like damn I, I lost a good one type shit that's what I heard like yeah because of your level of success and growth, okay? These people are running. They're runners. They don't want to face their problems. Okay? Wow, look at this. New chapter, baby. They pissed off about it. You moving on. Future energy here. This could be definitely present. Past, present, future energies for all of these messages, okay? Yeah. Holy Spirit. Reciprocity. Didn't I tell you? Y'all, if you keep on trusting the process, you're going to walk into these rooms with spaces that's because of your level of ascension, it's creating synergy around you. So now everything in your universe is working for you. Some of you guys have worked on major things within yourself, like forgiveness. 
acceptance. And this level of positivity. That's some real shit. That's uh, uh, energies and things that we're doing that a lot of people that's running, it's because they don't want to face that part of them. That they're unable to be positive. They're unable to hold that space. They're immature. Right? And age don't make you mature. Money don't make you mature. You feel me? Like... But you're running into people now that are more mature, more on your level. And that's what these energies from your past are mad about. They missed out on that opportunity. Somebody that they could grow and learn from. Detachment. Look at that shit. They don't want to let you go. Some of these people might try to come back. It's in reverse. Look at this shit. No sorries allowed. Look at this shit. You ain't playing with these people. So somebody try to come back. Yeah, it's been too much time. <clears throat> it's too late to take action. Guilty. Okay? These people feel guilty about us um, starting some sort of chaos. It was could have been a rumor. Whatever it was. And the fact that you're in this new chapter, they like, damn. I really... Can't talk about this person no more because, like, I don't have nothing to say no more. It's like, they feel like for you, like, they don't have nothing to say because before all they could say was something negative. And now you're not in that negative space anymore. So it doesn't make sense them talking about the old you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. These secrets. These people, they, they will never, even if they came to apologize, they'll never fucking tell you the truth. And all of the lies they told on you. They just want to, oh, let's get back together and be friends or be whatever. It's like, but they'll never talk about the, all the dirt and shit that they said about you. That's why they're having a heart attack. Because it's like, you have to be real with yourself. And that shit, their secrets are eating them the fuck alive. And again, with this missed opportunity shit, it's making these people feel guilty. Because they've allowed too much time to to fester or go past that they can't take action now. Yeah, cold as ice. It's like, even if they did reach out, it's not that you're cold, but it's like, you don't want to fuck with them. That's your energy. Cold as ice, like, what the fuck? Get out of here. Move. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Yeah, you're in your fucking North Node, okay? This is why, okay? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Good job, collective. I fucking love y'all. Ah, I fucking love y'all. Some sort of good news getting ready to come in, y'all. This deck wet as shit. Can y'all hear it? It's totally wet. Like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, high honor. <clears throat> also, I'm hearing with this high honor, it's like a send off or a send. Somebody is going somewhere. So if this was something you was waiting for here, they're saying that you're gonna get it. I'm hearing like a send off or a welcoming or some shit like that. Like this, they said the first time was a send off, not or welcoming. So somebody's gonna get welcomed. Like this could be a welcome home or something for somebody. <clears throat> wow, somebody that's a lover. Ooh, somebody that has a soulmate out here. Somebody's soulmate is returning <clears throat> or coming together. Either way. So you also got out, there's, there's something here that you just can't trust. And it could just be these pe energies that try to come back, try to return. Some of these energies that's going to try to rekindle or reconnect or want to be friends again or some some weird shit. Like, no, move. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. With these sorries and shit. I apologize. This could be even somebody giving somebody flowers. Like, the fuck? 
yeah, you got some sort of good news coming. And a stork brings good news. Like, I'm trying to tell you, like, something good is coming towards you because of the, the energy that you're in, just period, in your present. Let me get one of these oracles and I will just go ahead and jump into tarot because I'm just like, this is just crazy. People be really thinking like all that low vibrational shit is going to work. Like, hell nah. What the fuck is you doing? Move. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Tell me more here, Holy Spirit, as it relates to this message here. Show me what I need to see. Thank you. Ooh, yeah. So we got somebody falling in love here. So, wow, I definitely see that's that. For some of y'all, it is love. It's like you went through a lot with certain energies in the past. And I feel like now you're ready for love. And you're ready for somebody who wants a life with you in it, you know? Not just to be like, oh, that's my person. And, you know, they don't act like it or they don't show it or some shit. Like, this is like a, a, a reciprocated type of vibe. Like, you know, somebody that is definitely going to show you that they want you in their life, okay? Ooh. Ooh. Some, there's a masculine here I'm, talk, I'm uh, talking to, your energy. You're here. You're going to have a new flame with somebody who is very, they masculine, but they have like a feminine energy about them. And it's only feminine because it's like they have this nurturing quality. And that's what I was saying about them wanting to be with you, 2204. You know, it's it, this shit is weird because it's like what they saying is, is I could be talking to somebody. Sevens are important here, too. As well, we got two sevens out here, two eights. Yeah, somebody, you've been working on yourself. And you're getting divine uh, uh, assistance. Okay. Seven, seven, zero, whatever that means, that might be significant. Okay. There's a new flame. Somebody who's very sophisticated, gorgeous, sharp, and don't play no fucking games. They coming towards somebody. Okay. Or this could already be existing. You know, you guys could already be in that type of connection. It's already be happening. I don't know. I don't always know the time frame but I could tell for the collective readings, but this is what I'm getting. Okay. I think somebody also wants to help you, like, make more money or increase your abundance. Okay? In whatever way that is for this person, whether it's more love, okay, more money, whatever that is, right? They want to amplify, okay, your energy. This this masculine also go back to that masculine that is very much in touch with feminine energy, and you're very fucking handsome. You know, whoever you are, you don't have like this type of. I don't I don't know how to say it. Like, you don't have a type of. Of, of look or nothing. It's just your energy. Like, you just give off, like, attractive and very in touch with your emotions, very in touch with who you are. You know yourself. So you don't have to, like, lace it up and make it look like, oh, uh, uh, type of... You don't have to do none of that shit, like... You're just so authentic. And that's what I think that a lot of people makes you, they be suspicious. Like, is this person gay or is this person, the whole time, like, you don't have more, I'm, excuse my language, more pussy than, you know what I'm saying, half these niggas out here. So, you feel what I'm saying? So, it's not that. It's not that you're gay. It's just, you're very in touch and you know who the fuck you are. And you don't have to dress it up or make, make yourself look extra fucking masculine or extra machismo, you know what I'm saying, like, 2444, like, it's not that, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, somebody could have been lying about somebody's, 
sexual preference or some shit like that. Like, trying to make somebody look bad, feel bad. I don't know why the fuck I'm channeling this message. But I just get that about a masculine here. Okay. For whatever reason. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. What else is coming out here? Show me. We got a main woman. So it could have been a fem feminine energy. A female that was saying these things about you. But also I see with this new love. I could be talking to a main woman. And you're a chosen one. And you're. This is why you're attracted. This sort of soulmate connection. Because it's like written in the stars. For you to be with somebody like that. Like a soulmate connection. Just period. Somebody who's ready to reciprocate. You're very sweet. You're very loving. I also could be talking to feminine energies too. And when I talk about this feminine energy. Or, um, you know, all of it. Because a lot of times when you be so sweet, so nice. Even as a woman, people will mistake that shit. Like, oh, she's bi. Or, oh, she's gay. Or, you know, people who, like, try to say, not that being gay, anything wrong with it. But you get what I'm saying? Like, people will try to, like, say anything to lie about you or just to make up some shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the vibe I'm getting. You know what I'm saying? Just because of your loving energy. Nurturing. That's just who you are. You can't help it. Yeah. For some of you guys, I'm telling you, y'all could already be dating this person exclusively or take taking things slow with a commitment. Okay, confirmation. Okay. Let's see. What else is coming out here, Holy Spirit? Show me what I need to see. Somebody wanted to get back together. I think you're protecting yourself from this person. Whoever you get with in the future, I feel like they're going to be like a workaholic. I'm hearing that word. Like somebody who, I don't want to call him a workaholic, but it could be. It could come across as that. But it's more like this person is just very focused on work. You know what I'm saying? Like making shit happen for you. You know what I'm saying? In themselves. Okay. Very focused on prosperity and awards. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Also, I get like, there were energies in the past when it comes to certain groups or family members or something. You know, they used to use you because they didn't value themselves. Okay. So now I feel like you walking into this space now where people are starting to reciprocate the energy with you because it's like... You don't even fuck with the same group of people or it's not even the same group of people like, you know, that you fuck with no more. So you're going towards people that reciprocate, not just take, okay, that know how to give back that same energy. <laughs> Look at this shit. I can't make it up, y'all. I can't make it up. <laughs> Equal motherfucking connect. Let read him. Wait. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Equal fucking connection. Because the fuck you mean. Okay. Equality, fair treatment, genuine, independent people. Okay. Stable people. The T. That's the talk. Because you're getting your sexy back and you're deeply dead with these motherfuckers from the past. That's the fucking T. That's what everybody's talking about. That's why they're bringing your fucking name up. Hello. Meeting new lovers also. And this doesn't just mean on a romantic level. This could also mean friends. New friend circles. New people that actually value what you got to say. What you bring to the table. Okay. And you guys are going to have more options also. These people out here that's talking about you, real shit, they low key. I should have say high key. Competing for your affection, your attention. Huh? Okay. And you're not letting nobody in that you shouldn't. Real shit right now. Because your level of focus. And you had to go through those distractions to find this level of focus. Now it's like bullseye. You just hit it. Everything that you're doing is just a hit. And I think too, because they're not in your circle no more, 
there's none of the chatter. There's none of the tea. There is no tea because tea came out in reverse. So it's like they don't have nothing to talk about. It's like you moving in silence, some shit. Huh? They can't fuck with you. You don't detach from their ass. They missing this fucking opportunity uh, to be in your fucking energy. To be your friend, to be your lover, whatever it was. Because now you moved on to these equal connections. It's over. It's a wrap. Look, lusting over you. Infatuation, uncontrollable, craving you, and fucking thirsty. The fuck? These people are fucking thirsty over you, bruh. Block call. Look, bottom of the deck. Blocked. Some of these people, you block their ass. In whatever way you needed to. Maybe socially, on your phone, whatever it was. Like, no, we ain't even... Look at what's at the bottom of the deck over here. Look, this is the aftermath. Aftermath. Okay? Because you were fucking under unappreciated. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Bye. Bye. Queen of fucking pinnacles, bottom of the deck. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. <laughs> Who? Who? Devil in reverse, huh? Thirty-one eleven. <laughs> miserable. These people are miserable. If they ever came back around, you would see them exactly who they are, as the fox that they are. Sly, slick talking. Nah. Fuck out of here. Ace of Pentacles. Look at your money's increasing. Two of Wands. Some of you guys. What is the two of wands? Some of you guys, there's a, a particular choice now that you're making, and it pisses people off because that choice is to love yourself more deeply. It's to connect more to your soul, your spiritual counsel, and th shit like that. And honestly, as soon as you say shit like that to people that's not on that level, it turns them the fuck off. Just like when they start talking that low vibrational shit to you, who's... So high vibrational. You get what I'm saying? Y'all in two different worlds. Like, our worlds can coexist. You feel what I'm saying? They want to be low vibrational. You're high vibrational. Not a fucking match. Right? They want to be negative. You're positive. Not a fucking match. Right? It's just the real shit that's going on right now. What is the two of wands here, Holy Spirit? What is the two of wands? Look at this shit. Three of fucking swords. I feel like you're making a choice like not to be, not to hurt yourself, not to fight, to walk away. Like, I don't have to do this with you. And that's bringing you to growth. Like, it's, it's like, I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I'm not going to do none of the shit I would have did in the past. I'm more balanced. You don't know me anymore. I'm in my north node now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, they can't fuck with you if they try. Hello? And again, this makes people feel guilty and broken. It's because you call back your power, Five of Pentacles. What fell out? Oh, Four of Wands to the Six of Swords. You walking the fuck away from these people? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Because you're secure in who you are. These people are deeply fucking sad and like, fuck. I can't fuck with this person no more. You just cause you never could. You I let you believe that shit, man. Motherfucker. I maybe meant let you allowed you to believe that. But uh the reality of some shit, yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel, like for real. What is the five of pentacles? What is the five of pentacles? I think that five of pentacles also speaks into your deeply dead message, cause it's like, like I am done. Suffering or some shit, King of Cups. It's like I'm done suffering. I have found my emotional intelligence through all of the muck that I've been drugged through in order to find that. But it's my muck, it's my mess. And I'm a beautiful mess. I'm the best thing that ever happened to myself. What the fuck you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So now you're running into equal connections. Because you learn to value yourself. You learn to appreciate who the fuck you is. In a real way. Stop running the pain to make you feel alive and shit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Oh. Oh. What is the five of pen? 
Four of Cups. Find different offers. To the Six of Wands. They mad. They recognizing your success. They can see it. You're getting offers and shit. Things that they wish that they could have. You're in rooms being talked about in rooms that they wish they could be. And again, some of these people is in major groups, major organizations. So they do have influence, but they've used it to lie on you. And now you've shown that everything that they said about you was a fucking lie. I'm better than whatever you thought I was. Wholeheartedly. Like, fuck out of here. They can't fuck with you. You are the creme de la creme. Okay? Whoever I'm talking to. <laughs> okay? Please follow through. Alright? With being the creme de la creme. Look at this shit. Three fucking cups to the full page of Pentacles. Fuck is they talking about? They tried to block a, a, a fucking... They tried to block your celebrations. Block your happy moments. The good things that were coming into your life. Fresh new beginnings. They try to block these things. Opportunities with your money. Block. And when you block them. It was like you took out all of the energy that was working against you. By cutting them off. People sick about that shit. Yeah. The sun. All of the abundance that you're receiving right now. Nothing but abundance. What they said? Nothing but net. <laughs> Why the fuck they gave me that message? Because it's like, you when you shoot, you don't miss. Didn't I just say that? Nothing but net. Like, <laughs> fuck out of here. Look at these people trap. All of the traps that they tried to motherfucking send didn't work. Didn't work. None of your shit worked. Ha, ha, ha. So now you got these people. You, you now are renting space. Free space in other people's minds. Because you release the need to control the situation. Like, you know what? I'm not going to try to control or whatever. Maybe, too, I'm getting like somebody tried to reach out to somebody. And it's like somebody got a slap in the face because of the way that you dealt with them or something, too. You know what I'm saying? It's like they thought they was going to have the upper hand. Or they thought that, like that they was going to win the conversation or whatever it is. And it's like you just was like, nah. You know, like. Made this person look stupid or some shit in the conversation. And it's like, now they're just sitting around like, feeling like shit. Because this person is very imbalanced. And they trapped in their mind like, damn, how do I recover? Whatever it is you did, whatever it is you said, whatever, it's now they're trapped. Because they can't come forward and be real about how they feel. These people are runners. They run from their emotions. They try to hide and act like they don't have any. Like that's a fucking a good thing or some shit. Right? You feel what I'm saying? Undeveloped. <laughs> Underdeveloped. It's like if you was chicken, right? You would be the nice golden piece of chicken. They will be the undercooked one. Like, uh-uh, put that one back. It's not done yet. You feel me? And that's what somebody feeling. They feeling the pain of that shit. Like, yo, this person out, out surpassed me. Like, they pat, you pass somebody up for spiritual growth and improvement. Now everything in your life is coming together, especially when it comes to these partnerships, especially when it comes to lovers. Because you stood up for yourself. Fulfillment. Nine motherfucking cups. The Hierophant. These could be two um, families. Or deep, or deeply I'm getting like organizations. I just heard again. The Hierophant. What is the Hierophant? Oh, uh, yeah. Lovers and then Queen of Pentacles. So somebody is getting a good result. A soulmate connection is coming together. Somebody's getting like a yes. If you was asking a question or wanted the answer to something like, what is it going to be? It's going to be like a yes or something going in your favor or the way that you would like it to go. It's deeply what I'm getting with this Hierophant, clarifying the Hierophant with the lovers and the queen of Pentacles. Hmm. 
What is your nine of cups here? What is the nine of cups? We got the two of pentacles, seven of swords, the magician, six of pentacles, and the two of cups. Your motherfucking wish was to have love, two of cups, with somebody maybe that you've known in the past. Or maybe you would be able to have that love if you resolve some of those issues that you had from the past, what you've done. And we talk a future energy here. OK, some of you guys are doing a lot of work internally so that you can actually attract that person to you because you understand how it goes when it comes to love. Like if I'm whatever energy that I'm in, I'm going to attract that same energy in a partner. And so you're working on yourself, the magician to the seven of swords. OK, you're working on yourself. Some of you guys were deeply hurt and torn to a pentacles with some of these energies. And so. You lacked balance when you were in some of those relationships and stuff. And so now you're learning like, okay, I got to fix these things about me so I can no longer attract that. Boom. Bing bong. Yeah, page of wands. Like you're, you have the right energy now to attract what it is you desire. It was never about the money. It was never about the earthly things. It was the things deep within us. You know what I'm saying? And being able to speak to our illnesses and wake that shit up so you can heal. It's not about repressing and acting like you're fucking perfect because everybody's going through some shit. <clears throat> and the more that these people that were lying on you and talking shit about you, the more that they talked about you, the more that their life started to fall apart. Meanwhile, you sitting over here in prosperity and rewards and accepting you know what I'm saying? Being a villain in your own fucking story so that you can one day become the hero. And now with the magician energy, you becoming a hero. These people are fucking mad about that shit. They completely tight. Live it, I'm hearing. Okay, with this eight of wands. Okay, trying to block your fucking success. Like, bitch, you could never. <laughs> Suli Wabats. Okay. You could. All right, and that's just what it is. That's why love is coming towards you. That's two of motherfucking cups. I'm telling you, you're attracting a, a soulmate connection here, just period. That's one of the things that you wanted, but you knew with the magician, you had to fix yourself first. So in order to attract that, you know what you need. It's like science. You have to be in that fucking energy. You have to have certain components in order for certain things to happen. You can't just wish for love, but don't be shit inside. You got to be a good person in order to receive that. That's why some people can't find love because they ain't shit. Just period. Let's wake that up. You hear what I'm saying? And then some people missing out on the opportunity because it's like y'all could y'all could have been soulmates. Y'all could have been something much more. But because of their ego, they fucked that relationship up. Or because of greed, they fucked that relationship up. See? When you're not right inside, you'll fuck up everything in your life. But that's what I'm talking about. Wake that shit up. Because everybody wants to talk about, like, whoa, what I brought to the table. What exactly did you bring to the table? Especially um, emotionally and things and how you made people feel and all of that shit like that. Like, those things matter. And you learn through your mistakes how to be a better person. How to release and control. You say, you know what? I'm not going to kiss nobody ass. That's what I'm not going to ever do. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be a better me. I'm going to focus on me. And that's what it was all, it's always been about. And like, so many times we get so distracted by trying to point the finger that we forget that when we point the finger, there's three of them pointing back at you. You feel me? And so some people are going to have to pay for trying to point the finger at you. This is their payback. These people you left behind. Yeah. Okay. Lives falling the fuck apart. Okay. They're trying to make it seem like it's not, but it is. Okay. 4433. Like, I can't make this shit up. All right. It is what it is. Keep winning. I love you. Peace.